let's take a new exercise in solid works this is a part called steel support okay now here you will see this is galvanized steel density 7870 kg per cubic meter okay all radius are in milli uh, all dimensions are in millimeter material thickness 5 millimeter bend radius 10 millimeter all holes are 20 mm unless otherwise specified okay now here we have one front view side view top view and flatten view if you see from front view you will see this sheet this sheet length 180 and here 140 you will see if you see the top view you will see like this corner radius r10 bend radius this is a bend radius always going to count from inside okay thickness you will observe here we will make first this this is front view this is side view so side view also we need to extend how long we need to extend in top view you will see 160 millimeter okay and this radius is going to be 10 millimeter let's do this too front plane sketch now let's say center rectangle and start with origin point so i am going to start with center right click exit now define 140 and the length going to 180 millimeter now simply go to sheet metal and activate base flange tab you will see the preview see material moving outside so mat use material sheet no use gauge table no i am going to define material thickness from here 5 millimeter reverse direction now see this is going to move inside k factor this is very useful for bending standard 0.5 i am going to keep 0.5 angle relief keep this one as it is say okay okay i am going to define this color so it is for looking okay let's activate real view okay that's fine now again activate age flange now select this end drag your mouse left right so let's bring this now select this end now here use default radius uncheck the box now radius the corner radius going to define 10 millimeter you will see see the radius going to define now bend the angle between these two faces 90 degree now this is the important total length 160 millimeter okay now this is important see material going to start let's see top view now look material going to start keep material inside see because the bending the total length 180 from end to end okay and the this dimension is going to keep the virtual sharp means the center point of this face and this face so it is going to start with this point okay now rest going to keep as it is now let's do one thing let's cut this portion you will see 35 35 we will cut this one then at bottom we will add this flange 85 85 from both end and uh, this distance for 145 you will see material flowing outside radius 10 millimeter thickness 5 millimeter okay let's add at bottom then we will edge flange now select this one move inside similarly select this side now here uncheck default radius make 10 you will see the preview let's check this angle 90 degree between these two faces now distance going to count from the sharp will sure sharp this point how much distance 85 not 86 85 now material going to add inside so that's why I see the material going to add inside no 
वी नीड मटीरियल बेंड आउट साइड सी से ओके ओके लेट्स चेक द डिस्टेंस सिलेक्ट दिस फेस होल्ड शिफ्ट दिस फेस एंड यू विल सी वन फिफ्टी फाइव वन फिफ्टी फाइव वेर वी विल फाइंड लुक द डिस्टेंस वन फिफ्टी फाइव नाउ लेट्स रिमूव थर्टी फाइव थर्टी फाइव स्केच एक्टिवेट लाइन टूल and connect now let's define distance from here to outer edge 35 mm similarly for this distance from outer edge so this is the outer edge 35 mm now go to sheet metal and choose extruded cut feature now in this condition don't here define all through all that's fine we need to make this one okay the center distance not mentioned here it's supposed to be mentioned here but okay uh tangent faces see these edges are tangent 20.44 okay let's see this is going to be 75 select this face a sketch now let me select now define center point center point of this line to this line and define one more center line midpoint not center line midpoint define circle exit now let me select this line convert entity okay let's define this 75 mm that's cool let me define one more line now go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc connect with this exit okay just now these are tangent so select this line and this okay both curve tangent one more important select this one this one tangent because the distance going to count from this edge now see let's start mirror entity now select this one and this one copy make it this horizontal line you will see the preview here say okay <clears throat> again mirror entity and i'm going to do the same with uh, okay before going to do mirror let me trim this trim entity power trim just delete this okay now trim this inside also inside also okay power now select all now here select this vertical length now you will see the preview say okay now we have a close profile simply go to sheet metal activate extruded cut now here we have more than one close profile so see this is activated selected contour keep end condition through all even if you choose blind here one option link to thickness it means the material going to cut only up to thickness if i move my cursor over a region and it will going to select click and select see these regions i am going to remove or these material going to remove say okay and here we go see okay we done this now you will see here there are 12 hole 20 dia so it means the all small holes are 12 there are 4 to one side to other side eight and here four okay total 10 and uh, here also 50 this one and this diameter 70 distance to distance 
90 okay and 90 millimeter this is lies at center 25 millimeter from here this is going to be 20 millimeter so all this we are going to make in one shot so what we will do unfold now here select fix faces so i am going to select this one now here either you can select bend one two or select collect all all bends going to collect say okay that's it select this face a sketch now center rectangle okay this is going to be for construction purpose these lines are equal define circle now place holes at every corner and center okay now let's continue let's select this edge and place at center point just keep cursor over edge and you will see the center point plus sign okay exit i am going to define center line okay now this is also not defined but let's make it midpoint to midpoint okay now define few important relations select this one and this one parallel this one this one going to be perpendicular now select these two edges equal A smart dimension twenty from here to here it's thirty. Now here we corrected our drawing. Let's see. Now this whole center to center distance hundred millimeter. Now this one fifty millimeter. You will see twenty millimeter and thirty millimeter. And this one we already observe. 70 mm from top to here is smart dimension 100 activate circle ls draw circle let's define few dimensions 90 mm this circle diameter 20 mm and this is going to be 70 mm okay similarly this one 50 mm okay now let's define relations now let me hold shift key select these all holes small holes and here you will see one option equal see it seems fully defined i am going to draw one center line draw one horizontal line because i want to mirror this all select this all mirror entity now here select this one make sure you selected copy you will see the preview here say okay look okay similarly i am going to select this all holes hold shift key and select any one hole make relation equal look it seems fully defined this sketch go to feature activate uh, go to sheet metal activate extruded cut now here keep end condition blind and here link to thickness this is going to cut only up to thickness say okay see now simply 
oh okay this is a unfold view so go to fold fix face selected now either you can select all the bend one by one or simply select collect all bend now all bends going to selected by default say okay and here we go see save this one as a steel support material right click edit material and this is galvanized steel so come here and steel see galvanized steel density 7870 kg per cubic meter apply okay if you want to change appearance simply go to appearance color double click and it will apply here if you want to change this one also here one more option edit appearance and let's say i'm going to keep green color okay that's it now you can select flatten view and you will see select this one make it normal view and this is the flatten view right click export to dxf now okay just keep save type file location save as now here it will show you some option sheet metal face loop annotation this is sheet metal now entities to export what things do you want to export let's see hidden edges bend line sketches already excluded library feature forming bounding box this outer box okay. even the origin also you can change it from here to somewhere but this is perfect say okay once you say okay it will show you some preview look this is the r preview save this one now you can use this one as a in autocad or other uh, with other cad softwares for cutting exit don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching